this is how it looks like after the my box is dried and this is like that so now um, the next thing I'm wanting to do is um, to I think the next thing I'll work on is maybe the box, um, painting it, um, it's probably painted raw, raw umber. So now I can probably go ahead and use a big brush. So that's the, the chipboard box that I made. A grey raw umber. It's interesting. I thought it was more like a brownie. Because um, this uh, being grey chipboard and this being grey, you don't really need to put gesso. You only need to put gesso, I suppose, if you were going to put a light colour on this. You know, like a pale light colour, but since you're putting a darker similar colour, you definitely do not need just so. And then I will probably wait for that to dry and give it a oopsie daisy, another layer in the sides. I put the masking tape on there. I think I might take it off. There we go. See, I'm a very messy painter. The way I paint, you know, <laughs> messy everything, everything. So, um, Dwellers is my partner. Hi, Dwellers. And like everyone, we we're not comfortable with this. I've never done alchemy or steampunk, really. So, just wanted to try something different and fun. So how quick was that? That was quick. Right. And the sides. And here. These big brushes are fantastic for that. There we go. Both sides. Done. So now I'm just going to let that dry somewhere and even do, well I'm going to end up painting the inside anyway. Um, hmm. Okay, so now I will just let it dry and we'll get back to the next step or should we continue from here now what I was I think we might continue hold on let me just put this aside so that's the box done now this the pages have got glue bits and stuff like that I'm actually thinking I wouldn't mind painting the pages. Yeah, kneading it up a bit. Yeah, I like that.
alchemy dark because I was thinking if I left it brown it was uh, maybe it's natural color not only could you see the ugly bits of PVA glue but uh, it's not really that alchemy maybe it is I don't know alchemy is not always black is it there we go and uh, go with the front page um, so I'll, I'll just go ahead and do these and then what I was thinking of doing with the front and back I want to do a tri quattro I think it's called like on the Charmed movie but before I start on to that I just want to do the base I was thinking of using scrunched up tissues for texture or paper towels putting that on with Mod Podge and then going over that with maybe this and then a bit of the rub and buff the copper rub and buff so yeah that was Brushes are really good. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so I'll come back when that's dried and I'll work on the front cover and uh, some handles on the box and some embellishments, and maybe I'll make a little book with um, tea dyed papers that go in and out with spells and things like that okay thank you bye I'm back so yeah um, I've done a few things um, off camera to save time um, so after it was painted I stuck some handles on um, on the side so I glued some vellum Sorry, uh, June. I've put June. Um, I've printed um, some of these distress them some spells. I'm going to use a triquetra as the main focal point for the front. So these fit nicely in here. Um, also, I've printed off some labels for my spells. I mean, my little bottles that I showed you. Um, this one can't fit in there, but these other ones can. So um, they'll be going in here. Um, right. So now what I was thinking of, I've also got a chain. And what I was thinking of doing with this chain is just... Just for now, we'll leave these little bottles out. Um, yeah, so I think I've announced partners to everybody. Um, like I've contacted people and said, this is your partner, this is your partner. But if anyone is curious to know, I will also list the partners below in the description. Um, I was thinking a chain would look nice, you know, but um, I don't know how that's looking to look, so this book's going to be facing this way. Um, to my partner, Dwellers, when you pull this out, don't actually pull it from here because I'll come right off yeah
time. That works. So then what I might do is um I've got this, it's the cheap version of E6000 and it works just as good. It's half as half as half the price and you get twice as much. Um trust me it works. <laughs> really good. So what I might do is pop a bit on um Put it at the end of the brush and then kind of oh shit. Sorry, dwellers. <laughs> well, Is supposed to do it. Perfect. Okay, now what I was thinking for my cover, I wanted to do a triquetra. So, what I was thinking of doing it is gluing it on, make sure it doesn't come off on a really strong glue, and then what I was thinking of doing is going over it with a hot glue gun, letting it dry. And then painting that with uh, black gesso. So. Now this is going to be the hard part. I'm left-handed, and this doesn't reach over. So. Okay. And I'm just filling in, like colouring in the blanks. I've never done this before, like I've been thinking how can I do it and I thought this is the easiest, laziest, easiest way I can think of. Because that's the type of crafter I am. Um, there's crafters that take their time and do things properly to get the best result. I wish I was like that, but I'm not. I'm cut corners type of crafter. And I think this is going to work. And I think it's really clever that I didn't have to sit there and cut it all out. Because at the end I'm going to paint over it all in black gesso. And I'm just going over, over it, depending on how thick you want your triquetra to come up. And of course this is the logo that was on the, the Charmed, the book The Charmed. Right, so I might quickly go to the other room, get my tweezers. The little bits of glue string, they might prove to be an inconvenience when I'm putting the black juice on. I doubt it. They're too kind of thin to have any kind of 
real impact. So yeah, just feeling this. Um, geez, I must say, I'm, I'm really proud of myself for thinking that. Isn't that like a cool way to get your image? Yeah, I just got it from Pinterest. And I thought, how am I going to get that onto that with dimension? I think I did alright. Okay, so. Here I go. I'm just filling in the parts where I can see that I didn't put the glue on, if that makes sense. And that's very tedious. Maybe I should just go over it instead of doing the little bits. I think it's probably best to fill in the little bits here and then go over it. June on, got me black just so I just hope when I paint over this, you know. Um, being a crafter, woohoo, need the black lace. Right, so I thought for a bit of dimension I will put that on there. And there was another, I had two of those. Oh, here it is. There's another one here. Maybe. And I've got this one. Maybe I'll put that on the back. That might actually... I could actually put that over too, couldn't I? Because they're not going to be opening the ball. So that could kind of go like that. And then that. Hmm. Kind of hides the shoddy pages too. <laughs> or I can kind of do this here. Like that. Wrap that. Over like that. I can maybe do one kind of like that. Kind of snip it off there and there. Anyway, we'll kind of. Uh, Mama, hi, sweetie. Has a tail like that. So I'm gonna let that fully dry and I'll come back when I'm ready to paint over it with the black paint. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. So there's the triquatra with the hot glue gun. Right, so now this is the do or die time. My black gesso which I've never used before, first time ever, I can't wait. So all I've done is I've printed that. On the computer uh, and um, stuck it on, went over it with the glue gun, 
now. I hope it dried enough for me to do this. Oh my god, it's working! And I got my rub and buff. The Inca copper, and I'm gonna use that. See what I mean? Doesn't matter about the paper because there we go. You can't see it. Now. That's cool. Can you see that? How it's sticking up? Isn't that a coolie idea? Oh my god! I'm so smart. I I amaze myself. I'm like so proud of myself. <gasps> that is looking so cool. Oh my god. Wow. God. Sorry, uh, I don't usually kind of pat on myself on the back on camera like this, but I'm just really excited. I can't believe that this is turned out. It was just a fleet, fleet fleeting thought and I think it turned out perfectly hold on let me look at that there's your triquatra woohoo and you can do that with any image you can do it of a snake image or the circle with the star image but oh my lord I'm so happy with this I'm, I'm gonna like uh I don't know. Um, okay, what am I going to do next? So that that's worked. I'm really happy with that. I wonder if I shall keep layering it and making it bigger. Okay, so I might paint over now all the um, parts that I like uh, from the glue. Like I said, I'm a messy, messy crafter. And... Oops, sorry. Um, the sides as well. Remember when I said I put the June? So now we can paint over that and all that. And so I don't bore you to death, I will just pause and come back when I've finished all that. Yeah, I'm back. So, uh, right. I've painted it with black gesso. I think I'll lift that up. No. Um. So I'll put a bit of black around that because I painted it like a brown. So uh, for shading, also the same for here. Um. I don't know, I think I might go ahead and put a bit of this um, burnt uh, raw umber. Um, I want to kind of make it look aged. So I've got the black gesso and that was with the hot glue going, which I'm very proud of. So what I might do is go on top of that and... Uh, So, yeah, it's bringing it out a bit. Um, don't know, in terms of highlights, um, Getting a bit lighter, 
you know, giving it a, I don't know if the camera's showing that up yet, but trying to give it some contrast, you know, instead of it being all black. Um, I even might play around for the first time and dip my little uh, inker in there, ink of gold. Yeah. Trying to make it look like um, an old witch's book, yeah? Something from the past. It's old. Not trying to imitate uh, any uh, show like the Charmed or anything like that. I'm just wanting to make it my my witch's book meant for my partner, Dulles. This is fun. And I um, did want to put this on it. Yeah, definitely. Right. So what's good to put down on that? Um, I would say... Jeez, you need a, like a Mod Podge, wouldn't you? Medium. Heavy gel gloss. I can use that as a liquid gesso primer. Yeah. This will dry clear. Computer. Oh, hold on. Let me quickly do this, and then I'll I'll get you the computer. You wanna play a game? All right. Hold on. All right. So anyway, I will keep pumping away at this and I will come back when it's done. Yep, so that's my spell book. I've just basically played around with the, the rub and buff, went over it with the flower, uh, yeah, uh, where the flowers on the lace are. I'll put put a bit there. Also with my grey paint I also added a bit of highlights around there, there. So it's a bit of grey black and a, and a gold. Um, I'm a bit disappointed with it but you know it's not shabby chic. It's alchemy so it can be yucky and messy and all that but um, yeah, um, the cool thing is, comes with the draw, and um, with these, and the bottles, and uh, I think Dwellers, um, well at least you'll be getting a craft pack to go with it, and a few extra goodies, so that will compensate for any disappointment. <laughs> yeah. 
I think next month's project we'll probably we won't make it too easy but we'll just keep it traditional like shabby chic maybe or vintage so that is my witches altar book hidden drawer thing yeah for the cash swap thanks all for watching bye